Welcome back to Entertainment Review right here on Metric Television. So it's time for us to delve into our discussion for today. And we're going to pick a few topics of things hap that happened over the week, over the weekend. Uh, but I have to introduce our guests first. So ladies first. Hello, Sally. Hi. <laughs> You know, you know, the, you've become family now, so you don't necessarily need any formal introduction. Yeah, and yeah, all yeah, that. I understand. Yes, so you're welcome, Salima. Thank you so much. You look beautiful. Thank you. You are so beautiful, you. okay? Hey, <laughs> Let me give you fun small. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Okay, welcome to Thank Entertainment you. Review again. Okay, so, and our next guest, he's also not a stranger at all. Do, do you need a formal introduction, Olili? At all. Not, not, yeah. yeah, exactly. I'm good. So welcome. Thank you. Yeah. Great to be back. Welcome, welcome home. Yes. Yeah. Great to be back. It's been a while. Yes. Welcome Is home. it at home? Yes. Uh, and, uh, or, we make, you guys make me feel at home. So. You understand? <laughs> That's good. Thank you. Thank anyway, you. so, yeah, and you are host for of City Countdown oh, no. yes. and 30 Minutes City TV. Yes. Yes, and then Sally is an entertainment journalist. Welcome. Today, we are going to talk about very interesting things. So the first on the list today, a shaman to the world. Ah. <laughs> a shaman to the world. A shaman to the reality, yes. <laughs> I said, a shaman to the reality. Let me start with you, Sally. Mm. The event. Every, how things panned out, the, the artists that, you know, graced the occasion and then gave a very fun, loving moment to fans, to people of Ashaman. What do you make of it, generally? I, I, I think, you know, uh, whatever success that, you know, uh, uh, Stoneboy gets, you know, he's deserving of it. Mm. He's one of the, you know, big grace that we have in this country. So if you have all these artists going to support him, including Gift Your Say, Mm -hmm, you know, mounting mm -hmm, the sage mm -hmm. to go and win souls for Christ. Yeah. You know, it's, it's a beautiful thing to watch. Yeah. Uh, however, mm -hmm. there has been some, you know, issues <laughs> here and there. Yes. You know, with mm. people being stabbed, mm -hmm. people's phones being collected, mm -hmm. and it's a shame. And wig. Yes, it's a shame. Yeah, one wig. Yes. <laughs> yes. You know, <laughs> wig was stolen. You know, it's, it's a shame <laughs> yeah. on their king yeah. mm -hmm. because if mm. they are looked at in a certain way, and one word, the other, Stone Boy is trying to let people know that we can be normal. Yeah. So we bring all these people to that stage, and some hoodlums out of it mm -hmm. would want to disgrace him like that. It's it's a big shame. Yeah. Because next year, you know, who would want to come to a place where they will be stabbed? Be you know, yeah. do you understand what I'm saying? People have even died as a result of that. And from what I gathered, Stone Boy is out of of the country, and for him to have kept quiet by not saying anything All about the well. incident mm -hmm. since Saturday mm -hmm. up to now. It's a shame on him and his team because people came out there for you. Something has happened, right? Come out and say something. Yeah. Take responsibility. Apologize. You can't just hop on a plane and go to another gig or whatever that you are going to do in Nigeria. Nigeria. Do you mean to tell us that song. whatever has <laughs> happened is more important than that trip? Human lives have been lost. Yeah. What are you saying? People are battling for their lives. You know, a girl at a, a, a multimedia, you know, she, she, she's a worker, but her name is Becky. She's not been to work since that day because they punched her in the mouth and all of that. And then you can wow. easily ignore all that and go. Then if we bash you, then you people are going to say, we are always sitting on radio and TV. Yeah. We are bashing people. This is not right. What will make me come to a shaman to the world again? Mm -hmm. Nothing. Because our life matter. Ghanaians, our lives matter. And the people and the hoodlums at uh, uh, Ashaman, shame on you. Mm. Shame on you. Because gradually, that, you know, that mentality or that sense of, you know, hoodlum that we had about them, that guy was gradually wiping it off yeah. with, this, with this show. So what is it? Why are you that hungry to the point that your king is doing something in your neighborhood? And do you think Kolego uh, no people will do that to uh, 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 Shatawale? No. I don't think VIP, Nima people will do that to mm. v uh, VIP. Mm -hmm. So it's a shame on a shaman and it's a shame on the Burnetown group yeah. by not saying anything about the life that's, that have been in danger all this while. It's a shame. It's a shame. shame. Okay, so um, quite recently, KKD was on a, a show and he mentioned that 
this is what has happened at a, a concert that happened in Ashaman. He wasn't speci he didn't specifically mention Ashaman to the world, but then with the way the whole thing was being structured, it is Ashaman to the world that he was uh, talking about. Now he mentioned that he believes that the next time the venue for Ashaman to the world should be moved, but then it should maintain, mm -hmm. you know, the, the, the name. name and everything, yeah. but then the venue should just be changed. Only do you would you agree with KKD? To some extent, I may want to agree. Mm. Say that what Sally has said is exactly what it is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Change the, the narrative. The, the narrative. Yeah. And unfortunate, you know, um, shall I say, um, smoke screen of, of what the, the town is. Because when we talk about the places in this country that have, you know, high rating crimes and social vices, I mean, one could think of a shaman, mm -hmm. you know, and um, Stone Boy having. You know, he has grown up from that era. Yeah. He's come out of that place. He's done well for himself. And he feels like, look, I want to give back to you guys. Because it's not just a concert. It's mm -hmm. Now it's become a Shaman to the World Festival. So they start yeah. from first day, you know, do um, all sort of health screenings and stuff like yeah, that. Clean up exercises. Clean up exercise and stuff yeah. like that. So he's gradually trying to make it, you know, something more positive, you know. And uh, I feel like when you move the venue from there, People are going to lose out on things like the health screening and stuff like that because, okay. hey, how many people can afford to go to maybe, I don't know where they're thinking to, to push it if they, they change the venue, but how many people are going to leave a shaman and go to maybe, what's the closest place I can think of? Maybe Tema, you know, to get, to get themselves checked or whatsoever, you know. So it would take away from the importance and the purpose of why it's done there. Um, I think we, sh we can still get it done there, but it should be an opportunity to, raise awareness for their mentalities to change. Because, like Sally said, like, what do you get from doing that? I mean, what are you looking to achieve? This is an opportunity. Look, the number of upcoming artists that were on, on stage for Stoneboy, it was crazy. Stoneboy yeah. came on around, what, one or two years? Mm -hmm. Because from nine o'clock, as at the time the show was slated to start, it was a bunch of up and coming A shaman artist, for that matter. So you have your brother on stage, trying to make it through Ashaman to the world. And the next thing you could do is to just destroy the whole agenda by stealing stuff, um, attacking people. The last time, his wife. His yeah. wife, was allegedly. Attacked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Attacked. she was attacked. attacked. You know, yeah. and that, that would make you think, oh, maybe they would want to revisit that and not try and add to, to the pain of that. Because if someone is doing it, going to attack their wife, I don't get it. Now, you finish the concert. Regardless of how successful it may be, the police will release a press statement. Mm -hmm. Exactly. The 42 people have been arrested. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You must be successful, mm -hmm. regardless of however you look mm -hmm. at it. Because yeah. you, as Benetton Music Group or as, as Beam Nation, did not even release a, P, a, a PR note or yeah. whatever to either debunk or say, okay, we want to thank the police or use it to your advantage. You know? But like Sally said, you've been quiet, still quiet. That means that, oh, for us, like, you are mm -hmm. okay. Almost yeah, okay. a week now. You get it. You are okay. It makes it look like you are okay. And me, I'm, I'm a beam native. And when I see such things like this, it hurts me. Because Stone Boy has been the, um, the poster boy for, you can come from a rowdy background and still make it in mm -hmm. life. Yeah. And still be disciplined mm -hmm. yeah. and be respected. Yeah. But if you were a king of a town or you were a ruler or a leader of a town and your people are misbehaving, your subjects. Then, then where is mm -hmm. your crown? Do you get what I'm saying? So I... I don't think it's something they should take lightly. I think they should immediately come out and say something. Stoneboy, you're no small artist. You are being managed by Def Jam Records. Yeah. I don't think you want that to be a stain on a label as big as that. So but they need to really... What if it. he and his team feel like they did whatever means possible to bring calm and security to the event. Maybe to some extent they feel that way because there were police personnel that were present. But they were, they were, they were overshadowed. They were, they were, mm -hmm. uh -huh. And that is one of the things that KKD mentioned. Problem. Yes, that the armed robbers <laughs> were more, than, more the than the police personnel. <laughs> it's crazy. So, but then maybe their team feel like, yes, regardless of whatever, they know their people. And that is the reason why they brought security to the venue. I mean, it could be anything at all. I'm just... I, I want to add to what he said about, you know, the fact that something will be taken away from the whole show. I do not think so. Bits and pieces can be done in a shaman. Like the, the screening can be done in a shaman. But the main concept should be moved. Because nobody is safe anymore. You said something that was really important. If the president of, of a shaman to the world 
own wife has been attacked before, then it means that they don't have respect for anything. Anyway, yeah. they are, they, and listen, no amount of security could have stopped that. Those people, when they are high on drugs and the tramor, the things that they see, they will not even <laughs> they will see no, they will thing. see policemen as dogs. Yeah. Oh, let me step on them. Yeah. They even the 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 ammunition, yeah, yeah. yeah. The ammunition no, that they, they no, might even the guns awesome. that they are holding, they will see it as <laughs> toy. Yeah. Toy gun. Oh, yeah. they can't do anything yeah. to me because they hallucinate. Mm -hmm. Things that they see when they are on drugs. I mean, and this is the time that Stone Boy should have been loved, especially with a signing to. Like Dev Jam. Jam. Yeah. Are yeah. you are you kidding me? One of our own is on. Our, I'm sure all of them were watching. And yeah. look at that. Because Global Citizen actually used that exactly, yeah, exactly. to promote. Yeah. You know, and yes. if you have such a huge festival, mm -hmm. using your platform mm -hmm. to promote their mm -hmm. own festival, that should give an idea that okay, you know what? We have our eyes on you. Exactly. Right. I don't think they'll be happy about the reports that are coming after. Because exactly. if I'm bringing Asha to Ghana. Yeah. I'm bringing yeah. hair. I'm bringing scissor to Ghana. Yeah. And I have to fear that, okay, I need to give them 15 times security because somebody might just go nuts. It's and want crazy. To attack them. It's, crazy. it's crazy. Like she said, why would I want to go to Ashaman to the world? Yeah, I won't go like, ever. Why? You, you, you won't. Even, no. even, even if the venue is changed. No, me, the name Saka Saka even scares me. <laughs> Saka Saka Park. <laughs> do, do, do you understand Saka? Right. What is Saka Saka? <laughs> basa Basa. <laughs> Wouldn't you? Wouldn't you? I don't know about that. Though, yeah. yeah, because I feel like even if, like, although you, you mentioned that, mm. you know, uh, prior to the festival, the main event, you know, things like uh, the screening, the health care, you can't be done there, done there in the, the, I mean, Ashara. Yeah. Yes. But then if the main event is done outside Ashara. Where is Salafest held? In Nima. Yeah. Nima. I'm part of them, so I know it's in Nima. It's held in Nima. But yeah. Nima will not embarrass. So, so that's the thing. So until we, you know, we try and get these people to rearrange their thinking. Because what's the point of the time? What you mentioned Nima, you, you, yeah, you hear yes, Nima. Yeah. But they were able to clear that. But things like Salah Fest, yes. you know, Shatawali taking his concert yeah. there and stuff like that, yeah. was all in a bit to change that narrative. And today, rarely would you even think of Nima as mm -hmm. the place. To, I'm that's talking so about today's right. yes. Rarely would that's you think true. about Nima that's as so being right. the place. That's so, true. I, don't, I personally don't think we should move it from there. I think the people, and if they are watching, you should be ashamed of yourselves. Because yeah. if you have a concert that's been going on, I think this was the seventh year, yeah. seventh time doing... The, the, yeah. If you have such a concert, the last time Sean Paul left his states, mm -hmm. came to of Ashama. Course. So Stoneboy has done what in bringing one of the mm -hmm. biggest... Mm -hmm. You probably mm -hmm. wouldn't mm -hmm. have seen Sean Paul at Conference Centre because you don't have money to pay for that. Mm -hmm. yeah. But you are coming to a concert, I think, I think it was free. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. it's it free. It's always been free. And you think because free. I'm coming in for free, I need to make money by stealing people's stuff. That, that, that's, that's nonsense. Mm. Or oh, he didn't nonsense. cook for them that's that That's heartbreak day. in 2022. Why was he supposed to cook for them that I mean, in, in 2022, <laughs> you, you, you know the well. number of journalists that were scared for their lives? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. There was, there was a barricade that prevented were um, you there the main, i wasn't there but, but one of my my senior directors mm. with, senior editors with Kwame Daz was there mm. oh i watched so, so what we do is for some of us we watch on on tv mm -hmm. whilst we have others on the ground mm. so that we can have a balanced right. you know so i'm watching the coverage i'm watching the production and i'll get to the production Kwame later. will not miss anything i Look, know him <laughs> we our staff got stolen mm. yes our staff got stolen you see people that we went is it with, cameras not, not just cameras, laptops. Ah, you know, so I'm also surprised about the wig bit. Now, this is what happened. There's, there's a stage. People actually broke into the barricade, went backstage where other guest artists were supposed to lodge. Oh, wow. So do you see what I'm talking about? Wow. And you know, there's that perception about them already that they have a way of doing things. People like are like, literally like, literally like breaking it. into, there's a barricade. They don't care. That that's that's the thing. They don't care. They don't care. Mm. Are they so, okay with if your people don't mm. care, we also so don't care yes. about you, man. I'm so not going to come to do something about it. On that concert. No, I feel, I feel, I feel next year, uh -huh. right? Just like he said, uh -huh. if they are not moving it and they need proper orientation, next year it should be off. And then we, we pick it up after enough education has gone down. Has right. gone, okay. Because if me, I want them to move it. Because yeah. so, I want to see Stone Boy perform Stone so bad. But Stone the name. But, but Sally, here's the, the, the case. World. Stone Boy won't even come out to admit that, okay, this is what happened. Maybe he's embarrassed. At, Exactly. That's no, not but it's not an excuse. It's not really an excuse. It's not an excuse. It's not an excuse. We always talk about the yeah. importance yeah. of PR. Yeah. It's, it's because of some of these things. Because artists think, oh, I only need PR ahead of my concert or ahead of my program. And after that, I'm... And that's it, yeah. Oh! 
But then you know, because let's if look you at, can think, mm-hmm. of, not to catch, if you can mm-hmm. think of putting together a reel of your performance, mm-hmm. and sharing yeah, and everything, yeah, you think that's the yeah. only thing that's important. Yeah. No, mm-hmm. yeah. then I think you're missing it yeah. because yeah. something like this. Kamai, your entire career. Yeah. Oh, yeah, but you know the. Oh, point. you are pained, right? Oh, yeah, he's oh, going because I am. I am a beam nature. I used to uh, be. Yeah. I, I used to. I used to be, but I'm no longer. You know, and I want people to know that you can be a fan of an artist yeah. and still call them to order. Yeah. yeah. You know, I I don't I don't shy away from saying that. Oh, that's my motto. Yeah. You, know, you, you should be able to call your your, your artist to order yeah. when you realize that he's and not. And funny really enough, he might not even take it well. He might, talk. he might not. No, no, yeah. he is. I mean, these artists feel really entitled, mm-hmm. and I don't know what they've seen. Okay, that you know, because you like them. Me, my favorite artist of all times in Ghana is Samini. But when he does something wrong, I'm the person that loves him. I'm the one that's supposed to tell him yeah. what he's doing wrong. You can't always hail them. You know, some boy that I know will not be happy with everything that no, you're he saying. Won't. You see, yes. Because the reason why I'm actually angry is because. The same stone boy has talked about the fact that the media focuses on negative stuff. Yeah. yeah. But who controls the stuff that we focus on? She you, you the artist. When we woke yeah. up in the morning, I, I watched the stream all the way to the end. When I woke up in the morning, I didn't see anything about stone boy, but the police release, mm-hmm. yeah. which came Nothing. earlier. Yeah. Nothing. You get me? Yeah. Yeah. 42 suspects. I'm like, and I look and I'm wigs. Like, for what? Now, someone said, perhaps they didn't actually steal the wig, but they disguised themselves as women. So that could be a weapon because if you wear a wig, <laughs> you can this. enter places that many men yeah. may not enter, and then you can go ahead and do whatever you want to do. Yeah, oh, this is it's nonsense. Yeah, <laughs> but then you know the whole point of Stone Boy organizing this festival, doing this at the first place, is to help curb these the issues that we are talking they don't want about. To help, themselves, so. to help curb it, and then Harriet was saying that maybe that he's embarrassed. No, but, but then the point of the festival I don't think he's is to, I, I don't think is he's to the he whole point care. of the festival in the first place is to clear that whole thing about that that tag. No, that take, has no, been. take responsibility. It's because of you that people came. Yeah, I'm sorry. No excuses for them. Yeah, I apologize. I I I need to do something. What am I going to? I'm going to educate them more, and I'm also going to help the law. Deal yeah. with it. Deal with it. That's it. it. I don't think Stone Boy did started this whole Ashaman to the we are safe for you know to help care. Nah. No, he did it. Okay, so this is something that I can say it's mine, my mm. event. Now it's a festival, and he's and brought, I'm doing it in yes, my hood. Yes, in, in my hood, not so necessarily. So he's to, being personal about. Yes, he. Oh, I think about that is personal. For me, I, for me, I beg to differ because yeah. apart from Ashaman to the world, he has Beam Nation concert. Yeah, right. The Beam yeah. Nation concert is not situated in Ashaman, yeah. right? Yeah. So that's why I would think that okay, doing Ashaman to the world is to throw some kind of spotlight on Ashaman. Mm-hmm. Now, look, I came from Ashaman. This is where I was born and grew, right? Mm-hmm. And just as I came out from Ashaman, the number of people out here. We could equally blow up if they get the opportunity. Yeah. That's well, how then much. No, but, 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 but can I say something to you? There's, all, there, there's always also a backstory. You can absolutely be sure that he did that all because you want to change that narrative. That narrative. Yeah. It's yeah. yeah. sometimes Definitely. about them also. Yeah. yeah. I can pull this crowd. Yeah. Yeah. I can do <laughs> yeah. this. Yeah. That's sure. how they sell yeah. themselves out there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And mind you, you said something about the fact that if Sean Paul was coming on a show or Binima mm-hmm. and all of that, how many of the Ashaman people can a get big, the opportunity yeah. to buy yeah. tickets? So it all boils down to the fact that it's them. How they would look good, and if he's going to seek and, sponsorship, and, yes, exactly. I mean, I have a so yes, he might yeah. have. Oh, I'm this. I came from a background. Yeah. I've changed yeah. and all of that. But at the end of the day, it's still them. It's mm. for them. It's my brand. I do this. I do that. Yeah. Looking for money. Looking for sponsorship. This is what when you invested in me. This is what you are going to get. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But okay. then, you know, silence is also not the way to go, like you were saying earlier. Mm-hmm. So Stone Boy, I think, should be able to come out and clear that's, whatever that's it, the, that's, it is. That, that, that and also, <laughs> you know, people would think, for instance, that there, there is this thing tagged with the Shatawali fans and all that, that, you know, something like this would even happen with Shatawali fans. But then, when he does concert, we don't see things like No, 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 Shata, no, no, like Sh- yeah. no, for Shatta and my name, my boys, supports him. For Shatta and my name, I'm talking about VIP. Mm. They have control right. over them like them areas shatter can say no 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 don't do anything and yeah. it will go and they uh, listen for, to him yeah, you know vi is able to say the same them. thing and VI, I, I was with them i was their pr for three years we did shows back to back with them when they are able to say megira or stop or whatever in their language it goes so well with the people that it's not even funny they respect them 
So I, I want Ashamai people to also respect Stoneboy. Yeah. Because he's a brand. Don't yeah. disgrace him like that. But let's yeah. also not forget that it's not only Ashamai people that goes to the concert as well. Other people from different places also come. So sometimes you are right. it may be possible that you, you know right. they may be acting the way they are doing, and then because they know that no, Ashaman is already tagged with that action. <laughs> You know, there are people that I love you. There are people that when there is a concert or they are not even invited for a program, they will just go there too. You know, and they would rather be the people on top or doing things. And, and they know that so at the end of the day, they, they are not going to be blamed. They don't have buses to transport people. Mm -hmm. right. Maybe a crowd or maybe right. you know, or, mm -hmm. or something. So if you have to take a bus have yeah, yourself to just go to a right. to go and steal. To go and steal. Like, yeah. It, it takes a lot okay. of to do that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the whole point, then. I mean, from mm -hmm. Sally, from Olele, the whole point is we just hope that Stoneboy comes out pretty right. shortly to, you know, apologize, give the it's necessary so information that we need. In Nigeria. At least respect <laughs> the people. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. To be fair, maybe yeah. the police are carrying out investigations. So, maybe so he doesn't want to Oh, talk. no, no, no. It doesn't negate the fact that he has to come out he and say to, something. Yeah. Right. If it's in court, yeah. then maybe you're not supposed what to I'm saying. Saying. Yeah. Yeah. Especially yeah. those that are injured. And yes. they're suddenly saying died. that some, some, some have died. even died. Yeah. So it's he only has right to say that something. he comes out and say something. Okay, so let's move on to the next story. We are still on Stoneboy. Stoneboy and Burner Boy are the headliners mm. for Africella. Look at Sally's face. The crush should be on Sally right now. You should see her face. <laughs> you see Sally's face? <laughs> <laughs> oh, let, let me start with you first. Good news. Yeah, good news. Good mm -hmm. news. Um, Afrochella. <laughs> Burner Boy, Stone Boy. Stone Boy, headlining. Uh, Stone Boy has had an incredible year. Um, and that's what happens when you have a machine. And the machine is in <laughs> Def Jam. Jam. Um, he's been around the world. He's told the world. He's been at one of the biggest, or perhaps many of the biggest concerts in the world that you know, the calendar could, could offer. Yeah. And now he gets to run it up at the um, Afrochella concert. I'm sure he will definitely have his Beam Nation concert in December as well. But we, we look at Afrochella and how far it's come as well as a concert and the kind of exposure it gives to artists. Um, I'm not too sure what the arrangement will be like on who is going to perform on what day. Yeah. Because we just know that it's Burner Boy. So, but I know this year they're doing... Um, two days. It's a two-day thing. Today. So um, I'm not too sure what the arrangement is going to be. But... Um, it's good for Stoneboy, it's good for his CV. Um, I think he's been on there before. Yes. Stoneboy has been on Forchella before. Mm -hmm. um, I'm only asking and praying that the timing of the performances should be within a reasonable time. Because I remember when Wizkid came to Ghana, people stayed and stayed and stayed. Ah, me, I was there. Mm -hmm. I left there at 3 a.m. That was when Wizkid came. Oh, sorry. So, so you didn't get to I didn't get to witness. see I went to see Wizkid at home. Sorry. Live stream. <laughs> you get me? Because you were tired. I was tired. Yeah. And the truth is, most Ghanaians are not going to go to Afrochella to watch Stone Boy on Afrochella. Of That's course. The truth. Of course. But Afrochella has given the opportunity for different nationalities to come to town. So if someone did not know about Stone Boy, this is a great opportunity to plug Stone Boy. Mm -hmm. Many of us are also going to go there because we are going to watch Burner Boy perform for the first time. Right. Seeing what he's done at Madrid. Right. Yeah. And yeah. all those things. Yeah. And to be fair, I would actually go and watch Burner Boy because the last time he okay. tried to do a concert in Ghana, many, many of you may have forgotten, 2015, mm -hmm. at it, it didn't work. Nobody showed up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and as part of his um, uh, African Giant tour, mm -hmm. I remember someone asked him on Twitter, he said he was, he was never going to come to Ghana. <laughs> but we've seen Burner Boy come around, you know, come to Ghana. He says Ghana is his you know, safe place. We're yeah. just going to chill and everything. But it's great to actually see Burner Boy on stage. I would like to see how the production goes. Yeah. You know, because Burner Boy is very, very detail oriented when it comes to his sound, his production, and stuff like that. Then we'll be able to have a conversation on is it that our artists are not pulling their weight? Mm -hmm. Or the Ghana here, and there's a virus here that always cuts our, our, our guys short. Yeah. Because you're going to have one of the biggest performers, performers in, in, in the country, which is Stone Boy, because we know how Stone Boy goes about with his performances and we have Burner Boy. We will come back and have this comparison conversation. Yeah. I mean, you know, <laughs> and, that's what, thing, and that's what my problem yeah, is. Yeah, this thing happened. I remember last year, you know, um, December period, there were back-to-back -back, uh, festivals, right. concerts, yeah. and then the same uh, number or uh, crop of artists that yeah. were performing at Afrochella were the same yeah. people that, so it's like Afro people Nation. were getting too yeah. used to, yeah. you will see, you will see a uh, kiddie uh, uh, can promise, from the that concert. People. Then you pay for that people. concert. You go there, you see the same person. <laughs> so then maybe with Burner Boy coming to Afrochella mm. this year, it will bring you know some little bit of spice. Mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. So maybe that comparison is not really great to come. And he has one of the biggest songs now. Last, yeah, last, 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 yeah. So yes, yeah. I'm sure a lot of people will be looking forward to getting yeah. to 
Yeah. Stop breaking uh, yeah. breakfast and all that. <laughs> and, and, <laughs> and, 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 and I, you know, it's, it, I pray he takes advantage of it. I pray Stone Boy does. Because one of the things that we have as Ghanaians is that we are not able to jumpstart anything that we, 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 we take. Yeah. We do. You have this whole diaspora coming in to watch you. Yeah. I pray he does something with it. Because we are not able to do anything with any opportunity that we get. You see, people say that uh, you sit here and then if we do not criticize, how would they do well? Sally, what exactly would you expect? Okay, this is what I, I expect that. After this, mm -hmm. I would want to see him on major platforms again. I would want to see him being down. plucked mm -hmm. on major, you know, entertainment industries. Mm -hmm. Look, Burner Boy is now known as an American Bobo <laughs> and a UK Bobo. Yeah. Yeah. How was yeah. he able to do yeah. that? He was able to do that because he took advantage of every opportunity that was given him. I'm sure... The reason why maybe it's two days, and I'm sure one will headline. You watch yeah. something, yeah, yes. Yes. So yes, it's an opportunity yeah. for Stone Boy not to relax after here. We like relaxing after we get an opportunity, and Nigeria yeah, will get this opportunity, moments. and the next minute he's at Madison Square Garden yeah. performing. That's true, yeah. right? Yeah, that's true. Or O2 Arena performing, but we. We get it. I will always do the, oh, I had the opportunity to headline this. Yeah. And, and that's it. <laughs> I pray this will be different because it's a huge opportunity. Do you think that if Stone Boy, if Samini or Sarkodie gets this opportunity, they will not be happy? Mm -hmm. So if it has fallen on your hand, please make do with something. Don't just go and do mumu. Do I want to say. Yes, no. <laughs> that is what I was yes. waiting for you to say. That do, I want to say. say. You see, so Ghana is too big. You see, but we are that not big though. But we are not big. Oh, but we exactly. are not big. You understand? How can you not be friends with Whiskey? I mean, yeah. are you stupid? <laughs> no. I, no. Are you... Oh, you are foolish. <laughs> How can you not be friends with Bernard Boy? Mm -hmm. Right now, there's a big opportunity because there's no shutter. So take advantage. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ghanians. Mean, people have actually wondered why Shatter. Ah. And I, I, I don't want to change this conversation to where why Shatter Wale is not there. Mm. But it, it's, it's worrying for me because yet another December. After his friendship with Burner Boy going not, south. No, I'm generally for like generally. The, the big concerts that are okay. coming ahead. Maybe Shatter has been booked for other concerts. Yeah. But Afro Nation, Afro Chella, we haven't seen Shatter Wale. Huh. Yeah, you know, and for me, it worries me because yeah. mm. what could be happening? What could be happening? What's yeah. going on? Is it yeah. sometimes to do with money? I, I'm not too sure, but yeah, that's another time. Um, Charlie made some made, made mention of something very important that's Ankonam Ankonam thing. Trust me, oh, oh it's killing our industry in this industry. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, okay, the little that I've come to know, it does not work. <sighs> the reason why we can talk about the videos and whiskey, they have their money and everything. But these guys are bold to walk into rooms and say, Look, no, to look, look at me. Cool. They are you know, look at me. You know, yeah. They're ready to even sacrifice certain splits. Yeah. Look, I just need your name on this record. I, I don't, because I know what your, 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 your mileage can give me. Yeah. You know, now, like, like I said, you are not just going to any stage. This yes. is Afrochella. I'm telling this you. This is a festival that oh draws God. black Americans, black British, black whatever, all over. All over. Yeah. 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 All of them here in Ghana. Ghana. And they're also going to, they're going to be a bunch of music executives mm -hmm. in the country. Yes. They're going to be a bunch of shake. Like people are going to like people are going to come in who shake things in the industry. Don't come and do your body like oh because mm -hmm. me I'm a big man. Mm -hmm. No 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 no. Have the conversations beyond the concerts, beyond the performances. Yeah. Develop contacts. What can we get from this? What can we get from them? Because next year we want to come back and say okay oh I met this and so and I got this. Yeah. yeah you yeah. know because yeah. every time. The Nigerian will come to this country, meet an executive here or two, and then they take it to the next level. We come back, we come and complain. Mm. It's because we, we, we can't go and do the conversation just for you. You are yeah. there. You are like in front of the conversation. Yeah. So don't keep your mouth shut and then one. And I'm also saying the same thing for the other Ghanaian mm -hmm. artists who are on the bill. Mm -hmm. I'm not just talking to um, mm -hmm. Stoneboy. Yeah. Yeah. Stoneboy, you already know he has Def Jam. I'm yeah. talking about the other artists mm -hmm. who are. You know, Afro Nation. Agabli, they have a lot you know, of them. Agabli, some like, local champion, but it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, you have, you know, the kiddie, the Kwame Eugene and stuff like that. Yeah. Don't cross your legs and think because you are on a stage like Afrochella, you will reach. Mm -hmm. no, you know, reach. That's how they think. You know, reach. 
Or you develop, have you have a platform like TikTok helping you push your music. Develop so their yeah, different yeah, continents. Yeah, yeah. And develop their relationship. Okay. Develop their relationship. Develop their because you can have a hit song here and remain here and that's it. And I, I think one thing that is also like taking us back is the fact that yesi mm. is our money. You know, it's because yesi kaswa. When we meet these people, we already like near chicken. Mm. 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 Like a Nigerian. Mm. Who yeah, is so listen? So I met not because they are pompous, no. but because they no. I met somebody on Instagram. I don't want to mention the lady's name. She's big. She has the numbers. When she invited me to her home in Nigeria, I was working on people to get to her bedroom. She's sharing bedroom with five other people. My God. But when she comes on, on Instagram, she's a queen. That's brand And when I know said, <laughs> Mama, very what is this? I say, ah, mm. you need to fake it till you make it now. Ah. You, <laughs> you know, so we should fake it. Listen, wow. that three days ago, when I saw a post that Kanye has done for Whiskey. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And yeah. you get the likes of Naomi Campbell coming to you know, tweet, retweet, say something about it. It was so powerful. And I was like, when? Mm -hmm. All because Whiskey has been very intentional on that. Yeah. Mm. He's been very, very This guy wins a Grammy and he doesn't yeah. even tweet about it. Do you right. understand? He's been very it's crazy. intentional about it. It's crazy. Recently, the head is Nigerians yes. were picks because yes. he didn't go yes. and take his award. Yes. I, I, I don't know what kind of PDF that you guy know, is working So, with. Charlie, <laughs> somebody that's charging $1 million for a show, there, now he's gone. He's gone. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. gone. And I think the, the kind of grace, I don't know, Show. I, I think you know um, naturally they are bold. They they, <gasps> they they move forward. They whatever they want, they go for it. But then sometimes we, you know, in our even upbringing, sometimes yeah. some of us are not able to go for what don't we want. Talk, we feel like oh, that thing should come. <laughs> it don't should come talk. to us. Like you know, we are doing well. We are doing yeah. this. So that thing should come to us. We don't usually go for it, and mm. that is the problem. And that's so if arrogance, can right there. Right. That's arrogance. Right. That's yeah. cool. so if you can change right us. Because I, I remember too comfortable with the little right. we have. That's the meant. No, that's how we were brought up. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Ye
Now we have passed the stage that it is no longer love. Because <laughs> what you love is the music. Mm -hmm. And the music is the only thing that will bring you the happiness that you deserve. Okay. Love can come later. Yay. So if you are going to go into that is relationship... That? I hope you are listening. Yes, you go into that relationship. <laughs> make sure that even your love affair is bringing you money mm -hmm. to push your brand. Mm -hmm. Masali, what would you say? <laughs> <laughs> to who are trying to get away from their managers who are, you know, obviously because they get to exchange money for, 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 for their bodies. You know, mm. what would you say to that? No, this, this one that I'm, I'm saying is plogo. I'm not saying that it's go and sleep with them, Keke. Marry them. Marry. Yes. yes. To them. She's talking about marriage. Ah, what right? kind no. of thing? Yes. Yeah. Securing your them. future. Yes. What you say? And then my choir, yeah, on bass or choir. Yeah. What you say? So go for it. <laughs> Wow. Yes. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, Sally, thank you very much. Oleli, thank you very much. Uh, before we go, so Afrocentric Fridays uh, happens at AH Hotel every single Friday. It's a live band, you know, kind of enjoyment and everything. And uh, we have a rep in the house with us today, Gustav. He's the head of events Gustav. and promotion. Gustav, yeah, welcome. So, please tell us a little bit about Afrocentric Friday okay. giveaways. Um, first of all, good afternoon, ladies. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Uh, good afternoon to the viewers. Um, mm -hmm. I'll talk about uh, the Afrocentric Friday. There's a lot of stress in town right now. Yeah. Understand that the corporate world is beaming with a lot of heat. So we feel that Fridays are the best times for people to come and unwind, relax, under a good ambience of um, high life music, the good mm -hmm. old high life music, good drinks, good food, and entirely just to enjoy the time before mm. the weekend comes. Okay, yes. so um, tell us about the giveaways. Yes, so we, we are twisting the, 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 the scenario from this Friday. Um, so we're going to be a lot of giveaways. We'll have raffles. Uh, we can spend the night for two for free. We are coming. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. You can spend the night at the hotel. <laughs> yes, at the hotel. Yeah. 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 For free. Very plush oh. hotel. Yeah. Yeah. For free. yeah. Mm -hmm. And then there's also the prize for a free brunch for two on Sundays. Oh. Okay. After the raffle. And it's going to continue every other Friday, continuing today. Okay. I mean, beginning today, sorry. What must so, you do to be, to be able to get these things? Just be there okay. and participate in the raffle. Okay. That's all. Uh, so, oh, so if you win a raffle, raffle that's me. Okay, that's what we're oh, so that was waiting. Uh, yes, because okay. you said for free. So I was wondering what... there on Friday, what yes. time, please? Uh, from 5, 6 o'clock. I mean, okay. When we close mm. work after 4 or 5, by 1 hour's time, you should be there. Okay, mm. okay. so okay. AH Hotel, AH Hotel, yes, please. Okay. Okay. We have to be there. I yes. invite us, so. <laughs> you have to do Shakara first. You are all invited. You are all invited. Oh, and there's one more. There's 10% discount on drinks for all ladies only. Oh, okay. Yeah, right. nice. <laughs> you know, the men are always left out when it comes to this. I know, right? But they have money to pay. Yeah. Right. Uh, we don't have much. Thank you yeah. for thinking about us. Indeed. Yes. Thank, you. Thank, you thank, you thank you very much. Mr. Yes, thank you very much. You're welcome. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for us to wrap up on today's edition of uh, Entertainment Review. But before I go, happy birthday to Lois Kukwa Latte. May you grow to achieve greatness. God bless you. And this is from Baby Ni. Yes, me Nio. This is from him. Okay. Okay, so I did this with. <laughs> he, I mean, he has been fun. I told you that today is going to be exciting. And, yeah. And I know Nanaya says she enjoyed the conversation. Yeah. Of course, she also enjoyed the conversation. I'm sure mm -hmm. you doing the watching enjoy the conversation. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. 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 <laughs> yes. And Helen. Yes. Yeah. Um, I'm Helen Anyoja, and yes, we had a great discussion. I had fun here, and I hope you Be also had a good yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, so make sure to find your way to AH Hotel this evening to enjoy some live and some quality food and partake in the raffle so you can win some, you know, 10% off drinks for ladies. Don't forget. Thank you very much, Sally. Thank you, Olele. Thank you. Thank you, Gustav. <laughs>